Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, I hope everyone had a great Christmas and a great New Year's. Now, for me, I've been getting a lot of Christmas presents in the bigger world, in the bigger image, because we won the general election. I was the supporter of the Tory campaign. We won the area in the Murray Shire, not by, a, not by a lot, but it was great for me. I actually loved the result. And it looks like the whole country went totally too. And it's really interesting to see all these areas, which now makes it look like Maggie Simpson. Oh well. <laughs> so, what what do I actually think of the results? I thought it was really, really interesting. This is my thoughts from the actual, after the result of the general election. Well done to Boris Johnson and all the Tory MPs who won their seats in the area. Now, as Boris did say himself, he is aware of uh, people who voted Labour and all them would have actually, you know, not preferred to do it. But, as the UK is now known, it does not support the Remain campaign anymore. Is that clear enough to all of the fucking Remainers out there? It actually is fully clear. Now the whole UK is united on a deal of Brexit and every time I've turned away from the news and all that I've just switched off and it looks like we're just getting b Brexit done. Well, I mean we are getting a Boris deal, blah de blah, not exactly what I wanted but a deal's a deal. It's Brexit so it's happening so now we will be leaving January the 31st. Thank fuck! I actually have four, two Christmas presents done for me already before Christmas even arrived. Thank you everyone who voted for that one. Now, this is just general thoughts, but wow, look at the Labour Party. <laughs> look at that! They fucking died. Now, now, I would say, as from Scotland, they only won one seat in Scotland, and that would be West, um... It was at West Edinburgh, I think, and it was from the guy Mully. Real shame to be up in Scotland like New and your Labour MP and you only have one seat. Yeah, you guys got annihilated because you chose the long side every time. Now, I'd say before this, you know, during every speech the Labour Party's done, even from their point of view, they have been on the long end of the long end, of the long end, of the long end. If you don't know what that means, it means they've been supporting everything they shouldn't have been to get their seats. They didn't support Scottish independence, that wouldn't have got them anywhere. Toys didn't do that either, but Toys were united, but Labour was divided and racist and so on. Labour had problems anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism, sorry, um, where they had I mean, this is a whole, I mean, not just Scotland. Um, well, I'd say, I'd say there was problems with the Labour Party in the North as well, but they mainly didn't support Scottish independence. That was probably the biggest thing they did wrong. But as a UK as a whole, more England and Wales. Jeremy Corbyn. You're not going to get your communist ways. No. And it was actually really crazy when, after the results, he didn't blame himself, but every Labour MP was like, well, it was Jeremy Corbyn, it was Jeremy Corbyn, but it wasn't, but it was. And then you just have so many excuses, and now there's a leadership now for the next Labour MP, and none of the people are a good choice. None of them. They're all terrible in their own ways. I'm not going to explain why. Watch my tootsie for that. So, Labour got annihilated, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, that's what happens when you decide to go against the public and tell, tell corn and racist, don't support communism, don't support socialism. Labour is never going to go anywhere if you have any of those ideals in mind, let alone Jeremy Corbyn, because Jeremy Corbyn's plan was just, oh my god. Eight, like the highest spending, the highest ones, like get the people who earn 40,000 a year 
pay more tax? Are you fucking nuts? That's like nearly every decent wage person in the country to get you in a decent wage. It's not the highest wage, but it's a decent wage. It was just... I mean, that was just one thing. I mean, there was so many things wrong with the Labour manifesto alone. The marriage tax? That was the one I didn't like. They, was just, they were just so out of touch with their own thing. But I agree with uh, Laura Koonsberg about the, the reporter, about the Jeremy's speech when he did it. It was like, it was what he wanted. It was like, it sounded like that's the speech, he, the manifesto he's always wanted. But the thing is, nobody's going to support someone that supports terrorism by an IIA. A. Jesus. And you can't, it's, it's, it's crazy. Real crazy. And Labour got annihilated for it. And they've only gained a few spots. Like, a little bit. They, there was even a seat they held down in England since 1935 till 2019. And now it's totally held. That must be embarrassing for every Labour member for that. The Lib Dems, they got annihilated too. They didn't lose as much seats, but by fucking god, the Remain suggestion is screwed in their favour. I think the Greens actually won one seat. Yeah, I think we won about them. Um, but back to the Lib Dems, oh my god, I am so glad Jill Swindon lost a seat. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sorry that she did lose a seat, but you're not going for what everyone wanted. We wanted Brexit. We wanted to get out of here. And you admitted yourself on the television that you held, like, you you stopped the your Brexit three, four times in a row. And we all knew this for everyone who studies politics or looks at the recent events of Brexit. We know that was the whole plan. And basically, you're the fault that we keep in the situation that we're in. This is why the election was called three times, but you guys said no. Uh, it was actually the one seat I was really happy the SMP won. I mean, I didn't wasn't happy they won the seats, but they won the seats, so pretty good in my books. And Joe Swindon leaves as party leader. What gold on the night? Labour got a massive smack in the face, and the Lib Dems, the Liberal Democrats, should not be called the Liberal Democrats. They should be called the Liberal Democrats of America, because you look like the same bunch of fucking people that nobody likes. And actually, her approval rating went way further down than the guy in Scotland. And I agree, the guy in Scotland is more likeable than her. Not because she's a woman, just because she's annoying. In politics terms, anyway. Um, let's go and talk about the SMP before we end. The SMP, wow. Whew. I mean, we lost a lot of Tory seats in the north. But 80% of the seats went to the, um, the actual SMP. 80%. Now, the weird thing was, during the the night I watched the whole thing because it was so interesting it was like watching Big Brother but <laughs> better god it's like watching the jungle or something and it's like wow it was just really interesting because when you saw that when she was speaking oh I know I'm gonna win I know I'm gonna win <laughs> and then she wins the seat so she's oh I know everyone didn't want to vote for me because they didn't all want independence and then the next day, you call for independence. What a fucking surprise. I've dealt with you for six years, and this is why I'm so damn sick of you, Nicola. Because everything you wanted to do is screwing everything up. You want to make people who sell drugs, you know, drug dealers, legal. You know, legalize selling drugs. You know, it's not like this is Portugal. Oh, wait, this is the UK where we're exploited to hell. And Scotland too, that's probably worse. But the, they won 80% of the seats, I mean, yay, I guess, for them win, winning 80% of the seats, but they didn't win Mullyshire, and they were actually so close to losing the rest of the corner as well, but they did uh, win the Banfairy, I believe, and Mully. 
thank you for Molly for not going totally. But funny enough, I got actual threats saying I'm a bastard, I should be killed because I voted totally. There was even one girl that I knew in my town which actually said, Don't become friend if you voted totally, you have continued kids to live in poverty and become unfriendly on Facebook. Talk about th taking things seriously, quite. Wow. So, apart from all that, I'm really, really pleased with the result. I mean, there's nothing really wrong about the result, for my opinion. Brexit is finally getting done. Got my Christmas present. I got a few extra ones. I mean, you know, in my own right. And the big event for one seems to be going in my favour. It's like the force in, in my direction. Oh, God, the fucking force. Um... But anyway, that was really good in my opinion, and I'd like to hear what everyone else thought about what the actual result of the area is for. I mean, I know everyone wasn't wanting to vote totally, but they were pretty much the best choice at the moment, I believe. So if you want to talk about this a little bit more, go and talk about it in the comments section below, and I want to see what people think about the general result election, and I swear I'll be making more videos on this in the future. So please be sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel, keep the promotion going, keep the pro channel growing stronger every day as Britain will be united in one sort of form or another, maybe under me. So thank you guys and hope to see you later and have a good day, goodbye.